All right, boys, so today we're taking a look at the Z790 Aorus Elite Triple X AX X version X. So welcome back to the regular programming here on the channel. Thank you to all the supporters for sending me to CES. I hope you all enjoyed watching that content as much as I enjoyed making it. That was my first convention, so it was pretty messy with my scheduling. Going forward, I should be able to do a better job of that, but once again, could not have gone there and made all those connections with those fantastic people without the supporters. Now, speaking of supporters, they demand the truth. And on this channel, we hunt for the truth. So today, Gigabyte is under the magnifying lens, and we gotta see how good this four dim motherboard is at DDR5 overclocking. Okay, so when we left off, the Apex Encore is the best two dim motherboard you can get, and then the uh, Z790 Nova from ASRock is the current four dim champion. But I will leave an affiliate link to this motherboard and the Nova down below, but wait until the end of the video before you pick which one works best for you. Now come enter this bad boy. We don't really care about the features too much. There is just one thing I wanted to mention before we get into the memory stuff. Um, for some reason on the, Z, the, the previous Z790 gigabyte generation boards, this bottom slot here, was only running on two lanes for some reason. And on the Z790 refresh version, they changed this bottom slot to four lanes. So now you have four and four, way better. So, so I'm glad Gigabyte fixed that. Two lanes made absolutely no sense. Now price-wise, the main competitor here is that ASRock Nova that does hit 7,600 on the memory. That one right now actually went up in price. It's about $330 now, right? This one here is actually on sale for $250. So what, 80 bucks cheaper right now. So this is 80 bucks cheaper. Doesn't look as nice, fair enough. The Nova is a really nice looking board, but VRM wise, you're not gonna have any issues powering a max overclock 14900K on this thing. So you don't have to worry about that. So in the four dim land though, the rankings are the Z790 Dark Hero advertises 8,000, you get 7433. The Nova advertises 8,000, you get 7600. Now this one, egregiously enough, advertises 8266. So we will give Gigabyte shit for grossly overestimating their QVL list, but this motherboard is $80 cheaper than the Nova right now. So if it can, realistically speaking, if it can actually hit 7600 and match the Nova, then this is the best for dim motherboard. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go upstairs. This CPU here is an 8200 validated memory controller. We're gonna take this and go upstairs and we're gonna screw around for the next few days and we're gonna see how far we can push this thing. So let's go upstairs, update the BIOS and get cracking. But before that, this video was brought to you by the supporters of the channel. This hardware was purchased with supporter-backed money. No samples, no agenda, no review notes. This motherboard was purchased retail from Newegg, just like everybody else. So if you believe in the vision here at Frame Chasers, head on over to framechasers.org, become a supporter, get access to the Discord, where we have the most factually checked accurate data on hardware on the entire internet. If you go on Reddit or hardware forums for your information, good luck. Okay, so it actually posted and got all the way through the Windows startup at 8200. So that's hella impressive, to be honest. I'd, like No other Ford dim has been able to do that. So let's launch hardware info first and see what kind of voltages this thing is using. Q14, where are we here? Does it not say, SA13? I guess it doesn't say the, uh, the memory controller voltage. That's okay, whatever. You should be setting these voltages manually anyway, but let's hit start. I'm assuming it's probably gonna blue screen right away. Oh, wow, look at that. God damn, there it is. <laughs> there it is. 
So. And it just powered off on itself. So, the, okay, well, 8,200 doesn't work. Let's just keep going down the stack now, 8,000, et cetera, et cetera, and see how far we can get. Okay, next, 8,000 starts. Well, it didn't freeze at 2% this time. Oh, it made it past 7%. Damn. I think this one might actually... I wonder if this one will actually beat the Nova. Interesting. Well, let's see how long it goes, and then uh, catch you guys when it actually airs. Give me a sec. So, I mean, it's only 10 minutes in, but... The fact that this motherboard has passed 10 minutes is pretty damn impressive. I will say that much. Um, like, I doubt it'll finish 24 hours, but this is already this is already better than the Nova. I can already tell because the Nova never made it this far at 8,000, right? But this is, like, hot damn. A 4 dim is actually... Like, like if you were if you were a normal user and this was you, you wouldn't know this was unstable, right? Okay, there we go. Forty six minutes though at eight thousand, still very 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 impressive. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna try and fafo a bit and see if I can make this stable. I'm, I, I'm really just curious now. Okay, so it's the next day. I couldn't get 8,000 working, but we're at 20, almost 21 hours at 7,800. So 7,800 is very, very impressive for a four dim motherboard, especially an entry level one. This isn't like the Master or the uh, Aorus Extreme. It's, this is the cheapest one that you can get. So that's a huge W for Gigabyte. So now that I know 7,800 works no matter what, I'm going to try... 8,000 one more. I don't want to spend too much time on this, but I'm going to try 8,000 a little bit more. Um, but 7,800, thumbs up. So this is the best four dim motherboard that you can get for sure. Okay, so it's the next day again. Yeah, I can't do it. I can only get it to about an hour stable. But um, so gonna, it's going to be a no go on the 8,000, but. Um, yeah, 7,800 is A-OK. -okay. You could probably do 7,900 with some BCLK -okay or whatever. But yeah, so anyway, 4DIM motherboard. Very, very, very impressive. But we're still not at 8,000 on 4DIMs, unfortunately. Wow. Wow. 7,800, man. Whew. That's a huge W for Gigabyte. Put this into perspective, this thing costs one third the price of a Dark Hero and gets 400 megahertz faster. That's, yeah, Gigabyte killed this one. And just a little aside here, we were talking about this in the Discord with the boys, but this is this motherboard is the exact reason why you can't have any brand loyalty going generation to generation. If you think about it, we've had three CPU generations on this one socket, and in Z690, MSI took the crown. On the ITX board side of things, MSI took the crown. On the four DIM side of things, Gigabyte took the crown. And then on the two DIM full ATX side of things, Asus took the crown. So you're all over the place with these brands and these motherboards, right? It doesn't, we don't care about brands here. We just care about what the fastest is, right? Unfortunately, I'm just one guy and I get these reviews out and I test these boards as I get them, right? So I will be updating the recommended parts list on my website with this board on there now. And you know, the crazy thing is, this is the cheapest one of the refreshes, right? This one isn't even the Master or the Extreme. So now I'm wondering if maybe the Master or the Extreme might be able to actually hit 8,000 on four dims. I'm not gonna buy it, I'm not gonna bother testing it, those motherboards are too expensive. But the base model one here, this one does 7,800. That figure, if you're paying 550, 600 dollars for a Master anyway, you're gonna get the apex in that price bracket no matter what. Yeah, on the one hand, shame on Gigabyte for advertising 8200, but also congratulations to Gigabyte for making the best budget motherboard on Z790.
So anyway, guys, we found the king of the four dims. This motherboard has a strong recommendation for me. Don't forget the affiliate links down below. And if you like the content, hit that subscribe button. Do all that YouTube SEO stuff. Like, share, subscribe. Comment down below if you've bought one of these gigabyte refresh boards, maybe a master or an extreme. And then let us know how far you got those boards. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you later.